Welcome to Awesome Chess Books, where I recommend you some very nice chess books to take your game to the next level. So today we're going to take a look at chess combinations exercises books. So with these books you usually can't go wrong because the more you solve the better you become. But here are some of the books that I've used and I'm still currently using. But just to mention, all these combinations, all these problems should be solved in your head, not over the board. Because this improves your visualization skills and also your calculating skills more. So let's just take a look at our first recommendation. So the first book that we can see here really has a lot of chess combinations. And it starts up with mates in one, then you have mates in two, mates in three. And it just goes up. First it starts with the easy ones and then it gets harder and harder. But this book doesn't only have combinations to solve, it also has like useful ideas from tournament games and stuff like that. So this is a really nice book that I would recommend. It's, it is also very long as you can see. Um, it has like 1104 pages. I'm telling you it's a really thick one and a very useful one. So it's really hard to say for which players um, I would recommend this book. Because it's really useful for like really beginners and also for some of the players that are a bit more advanced. The second book that I would really recommend is a chess training pocket book. Now in this book you have 300 very instructive positions that can occur a lot of times in also your games. This essential book has a lot of instructive ideas. It also tests your intuition and a lot of different things. So. This book is another one that I would really recommend. Now the cover of this book is a bit questionable as you can see here. It doesn't matter because it's a very nice book. Now the next book that we have is Practical Chess Exercises. Now this book is very interesting because you have to find the best moves in the position without knowing how hard um, the exercise actually is. So some of them are really easy and some of them are really hard. And this is very useful, I think, just like in your games, if you can imagine. You don't know if you're going to have a hard combination or an easy combination. You have to be ready for everything. So this is another book that I would really recommend if you want to improve your chess. And you don't always have to checkmate the opponent's king or, I don't know, win a piece. You can also get some strategic advantage to, at the end, win the game. So again, it's hard to say for which players I would recommend this book because some of the examples are easy, some of them are hard. So I would basically recommend it for any player because solving these combinations is really essential to any chess player. And if you're really a beginner and you can't solve, for example, some of the uh, harder ones, then it's okay, try your best. And if you don't find it, then look at the solution and you'll see the right answer, the right idea pattern, whatever, and you'll also improve from that. So yeah, that's my recommendation here. So the last book that I will recommend to you is a bit more advanced for the players that are not really like new to the chess. I would not recommend this book for them. This book is for more advanced players. So it's called Imagination in Chess. Now this book is very useful because um, it develops your creativity in chess. Um, it makes you think out of the box, which is very important in a lot of chess positions. It also shows you the way of thinking about these combinations, um, how to calculate them, which techniques to use. And the examples are very, very interesting, very, very creative. So this is a book that I would really recommend for any players with probably more than, I don't know, 1700 ELO rating points. Something like that, probably. If you're serious about your chess, this is a book that I would really recommend to you. So these are, of course, not the only books about chess combinations. These are just some of the books that I've used. And if you're interested in getting one of them, links are down in the description. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video, my recommendations. If you did, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.